change your mind If you change your mind This episode showcases Peridot when it comes to her down point. Knowing full well that she sleeps inside of Stephen's house when it comes to the bathroom, all the while dealing with so much depression. Believe me, it kind of sums up a lot that Peridot can't be able to move forward due to the position that she's in. Believe me, if you have something that you really like and it's all gone, you can instantly sympathize with Peridot a lot more when it comes to her predicament. After she spent all her time in Stephen's bathroom, Stephen and Amethyst decides to take her out to the country while going back to the kindergarten to make her feel better. Upon arrival, they witness a flower planted on the ground in the kindergarten, which surprises them because they didn't think that a flower would be planted in the kindergarten that has been a wasteland for so many decades or centuries or generations in this case. Which gave Steven an idea by planting a garden in the kindergarten to make the kindergarten brand new. And with Peridot growing with the ideal, it made her convinced that she has something to work for when it comes to moving forward from her separation from Lapis. Let me tell you that this episode being as simple as it is when it comes to a Peridot episode, it sums up a lot that Peridot really wanted what she all what she had until it gotten away from her and when it comes to this episode just trying to plant a garden believe me doing it at the kindergarten is a risky move not really risky when it came to the unexpected but at the same time she really wanted to contribute something by making herself feel proud considering that back at the barn she's been planting so far so in all honestly it kind of shows that she is really accustomed to garden work when it comes to making her feel better and making her being more mold motivated. While this episode isn't one of my favorites when it comes to the series in general, I have to admit that it's the most underrated for how the execution of them all really stands out when it came to Peridot trying to move forward by doing what she does best, only to witness that the garden that she, Amethyst, and Steven had made had been ripped apart due to a corrupted gem. You can sum up a lot that this feels like a perfect final episode for Peridot. Granted, she does things in the wedding and change her mind, but if you ask me, considering that in the future episode where well, she is mostly a tool for Steven to work with, I have to admit that this is a good closure when it comes to her episodes. The message of the episode itself really made Peridot a lot more understanding for how she can't be able to get what she wants due to everything that she had is gone. And even though that it's worth noting that what she does when it comes to future can be debatable for how she can't be able to have the same thing over and over again with her stopping the session with Steven, I have to admit that she just isn't ready considering that she's in the position in this episode where she can't be able to cope 100% without anything in the way. Because as far as I'm concerned, with the corrupted gem causing the mess on destroying her Stephen Amethyst's garden, she isn't phased, which for me personally sums up a lot that she is extremely exhausted and yet at the same time difficult to move forward in the position that she's in. To tell you the truth, well, the battle between Smoky Quartz and the Corrupted Gem has less time due to the unfazed reaction from Peridot really says it all that no matter what they do, there's always something in the way and they can't be able to move forward from it. And even though that Amethyst and Steven are trying to be nice towards Peridot, with this being the trio episode, that doesn't automatically mean that everything would turn out good in the end. As for the ending, when they went past Sunflowers while taking the train in at the countryside, this gave them an idea that they can plant a garden anywhere that isn't in the kindergarten, which does foreshadow the events of what Peridot ends up doing at Little Homeworld. 
which for me personally made me think that she contributes a lot more by planting into a different location rather than the place that is the birthplace of, La of Amethyst. Believe me, I really feel like that this type of ending was a lot more confusing when I first watched it, but after rewatching it, it really makes sense now. If there was ever going to be another Peridot episode, I'm going to assume that it will probably center around her finding the perfect location to plant, which would be the birthplace of Little Homeworld. But then again, it would be between season 5 and the film. Or when it came to Peridot thinking about which place to plant, and finding a better place, which is where the birthplace of Little Homeworld is, she took that contribution to that location. Granted, I don't know much when it comes to my predictions on what Peridot would have ended up been when it came to the events after this episode and before the wedding episode, but believe me, there was so much to keep track on that this just feels like it's okay to wrap up everything when it comes to the episodes centering around the character. To be real with you guys, while this episode is a really good episode, for me personally the Lapis episode later on in the season is superior, for mainly for how her character was executed in a different way that makes her better in comparison to Peridot from this episode. Granted, Peridot was still good in this episode, but at the same time, the Lapis episode later on really sums up a lot that her character when it comes to this season, is superior. But then again, if I describe it in a favoritism way, then I will probably say I will probably say say it a lot more differently if I did this marathon way early on instead of right now. I'm giving this episode an 8.25 out of 10. You.